Hi everybody, it's Deb from DD Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch, it's called a Da Vinci Pro Panel. Um, here's the little piece of paper that came with it. It's like a wooden panel and it is gessoed three quarter inch thick. And what I'm going to do today is a ring pour. And I'm just going to use one cup and let's go over my paints today. My first paint is the DecoArt Metallics, the Deep Sapphire. My next paint is Rustoleum Metallics, their Rose Gold. My next color is again the Rust-Oleum Metallics, and I'm using a lot of the Rust-Oleum Metallics today. It's their Metallics uh, Sterling Silver. My next paint again is a Rust-Oleum, and it is their Metallic Amethyst. Real pretty purple color. And again, the Rust-Oleum Metallic Copper Penny. And again, Rust-Oleum Metallics, their Ruby. And the last Rust-Oleum I'm using is their Metallic Champagne. And that's all the paints that I will be pouring on. My base coat is uh, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. Pouring medium today for all my paints is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, Squirtagac 800, about a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. In only a few of my paints, I had to add like maybe a, just a drop of water. And let me show you consistency. I did leave it a, a little on the thicker side today than I normally do because I am doing the ring pour. No silicone added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to put my base coat down of my white. I'm going to layer my cup. I'll bring you back and we'll get started painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down. I have my cup filled. And I did put um, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White just on the top there. And I think I'm going to just torch, torch my base coat first. I just did mix up this base coat, but all my other colors I mixed up yesterday. Okay. And so what we're going to do is just a ring pour. So I'll start here in the middle. And I will start up high. Then I will bring it down. I do believe I have plenty of paint to cover this canvas here today. And I did not use all of my paints. The color that I think is really pretty is that ruby. And I'm glad that so much of it is coming through here. Okay, and I'm just going to fix that very end here. Okay, and I will give it a quick torch.
okay? And one thing about this um, pro panel I did not tell you is it, it has a little lip on the side that is also gessoed in white like the top. So what I did is I taped right underneath that lip and it is wood on the side. So after the painting is dried, um, I would remove the tape and I can either stain it with a, a wood gel stain or paint it or just leave it natural. You have lots of choices with that. Now I'm just going to do my tipping and I'll, I'll take my time at this. And I do hope you get to see most of the tipping. If it does get out of camera range, I, I do apologize for that. Sometimes with the bigger canvases, you don't always get to see all the tipping that goes on. moving it more back into the middle here and then we'll bring it down to this end it does look like a lot of that silver is on my edges here sterling silver And now I will bring it down to more this corner here. Bring it over that corner and I will bring it back. You just have to be mindful as you tip where the weight of your paint is and what you want to keep and what you do want to tip off. Okay. Now I think I will try and tip to this corner. And I do not have push pins underneath this. I'm just using my cookie cutters today to hold my canvas up. And I will take it off that edge and bring it back. And I'm going to take a look at it again. And I will bring it down to this edge now. And bring it off that edge and bring it back. And I am bringing it back to the middle. And I will set it down to take a look at it.
And I think what I'm going to do before I do any more tipping is I'm going to add some paint in here and then draw it down this side. And I think I will add my ruby. And I think what I'll do is I'll just run my skewer through that just to break it up a little bit. Maybe make it look a little bit more natural. Okay, and I may do that again down here. and run the skewer through it again. Okay. And now I'm going to turn this over so I can Tip down that way. And I will bring that back. Okay, and I'm just going to take another look at it here. Just run my fingers along the bottom here, clean the bottom off a little bit. And I'm just thinking with all these beautiful colors I have in my cup, some a lot of them aren't coming through. So I'm going to pour another small cup there and pour right in the middle, see what we get. Just add a little something to it. And I might even add a little bit of the white this time. And for sure I'm going to use the copper. And some of the rose, well there's a lot of rose gold there so I will try and stay away from that a little bit. And I will use the silver. and the ruby again. Okay, so I'm going to just pour in the middle here. See if we can add some more color to this painting.
Okay. I'm liking that I put that white in there. So let's do a little more tipping here. See what this added paint does for this painting. Let part of it run off. Bring it back. Okay. I do want to leave the rest of that ruby on this painting that's already on there. So I'm trying to be mindful of that as I'm tipping. Okay, I'm just going to take another look at it here. And I think, again, like I added that white, that really does brighten it up a lot. I'm going to try and bring some off this corner. And also that will stretch out that red that is already in there. Okay, and I will bring it back. And I will try and come down to this corner a little more. Okay, I'm just going to take another look here a minute. See where we're at. I do like that a lot better. The middle is so pretty. And I think I can stretch this down more this way a little bit. Because my thinking is I can get rid of some of this here. And while I'm at it, I might pour just another little cup right here. I can use the same little cup I have. I 
think that would brighten it up also. Thank you for coming along on this pouring journey with me here today. I'm going to put it right in here. And I did use the copper, the silver, the ruby, the deep sapphire, and the amethyst in that, in that cup. Okay, so we're just going to tip that around a little bit. I just think it's really a lot of fun to play with your paints and get your painting the exact way you like it. Take a little of that off the bottom there. I'm going to bring it to the corner here. And bring it back. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it here. It certainly did make it a lot more interesting in here. And I think I'm going to just try and see what will happen if I tip it down just a little bit more there. Okay, and I'll bring it back. I'm just working on the composition now as I'm looking at it. Pretty happy with all the colors now. Okay, maybe just tip this way a little bit. I'll take that back. I don't want to. I don't want to mess up that one, the blue one there, the blue circle. So I'll bring it this way. Take another look. Okay, I'm really liking this. Just cleaning off the bottom here a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to take my skewer here a little bit and draw these lines out. Just a little bit. 
And now I'm going to torch it. I really, really am liking this. Quite a journey, and I had to add those two extra cups, but I just think it's worth it with all these beautiful colors now. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And off-camera, I did a little bit more tipping, and I'm going to show you the effects I got, and I'm really happy I did. And uh, composition-wise, this is how this painting would go. So this is the upper left-hand corner. And just coming down the left-hand side here. Pretty happy with how all these colors played together. I did get some cell action here in the veining of the white. That's pretty too. And we'll go up the middle here. I like how the blue and purple, excuse me, the red and the purple is together here and the blue. And a lot of cell action in here. Very pretty in here. Oh, that copper just intermingled with all the other colors. And I do like that ruby with the blue and the purple here. And that's where I added that red. So pretty. And by stretching it more, you can see that these, this is the, some of the results that I got. So very nice in here. I like how that ruby is just going through all these other colors. I think that's kind of unique how it almost looks cloudy here. And then here I have these cells like that. A lot going on in this painting. And this, we're just coming down the right hand side now. And that's the lower right corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now. Hi everybody. I just wanted to show you that I had a little bit of paint left over and this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. And I, I did not film it, but I thought I'd show you the results. So I just used the paint that I had left over from my, my previous pour here. And I just did another ring pour and I used the white Artist Love Flow Acrylic White as my base coat with all the previous colors I had mentioned. And I just think this little painting turned out so pretty I had to show you. And I'll just show you some of the effects I think are so nice. This is my favorite area right in here. Just turned out really, really pretty. So this is just a bonus clip of a little painting I did at the end. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye for now.